guys, I thought, welcome back to my channel. I'm just gonna jump right into it. I thought I'd do a look for Valentine's Day, seeing today is Valentine's Day. But I'm gonna actually do a, um, a doll tan look. Um, just pulling out all the different palettes I have here and seeing which one has some really nice pinks and stuff like that. So I'm gonna be doing that. So I'm gonna just go ahead and start with this look and we can get on with it. That's a Luxie brush. Oh, there's a good brush. Okay, so I'm just going to use some of the concealer for, um, I got everything in front of me, so then I had to move. Yeah, it's been a weird day today. I had a friend stop by. That makes it really weird for me because usually I'm at home by myself. Um, yeah. <laughs> And I'm watching a very Valentine's Day show called 911 Crisis Center. I wonder about myself some days. <laughs> um, yeah, so I was going to do a look with the ColourPop Very Cherry, but I'm going to save that for tomorrow because I want to do a doll 10 look today. Because they have some really, really nice colors in the pink section and... Um, I've been getting a lot of compliments on the photo I posted where I'm using their stuff. So this is just their concealer. Um, yeah, my dog is a little weird. Yes, it is. So I'm just going to go in with the paint pot. You don't have to with their, their shadows. That's a nice thing. So that'll be like literally the only thing I won't use that's... Um, from Doll 10. I do, don't have the primer and I will get it. Um, the other day I did a look with uh, the Natasha Denona palette, the Mini Crush, and it was gorgeous. And y'all liked it a lot. So I am going to go in with, um, so I've got the Rose Brilliance palette here and this is called Luminous. So there's the rose palette. It is gorgeous. I really, really like this palette. And this is one of the pal first palettes I did pick up. And I'm not going to like edit this too much because I want to see, I want to show you guys how easy it is for me to, to use this palette. And how like just so simple it is. I always go with my crease right here, but my crease actually... Like, I have to remember to close my eyes to see my crease because I have hooded eyes, so I don't, I'm not able to do it like everybody else. And just to let you know, I will be picking a winner for my mini makeup giveaway. I keep calling it skincare. I'm not sure why, but I do. So I'm sorry about that. I do have a dull 10 brush somewhere in here, but I don't know where I placed it and I really don't want to go looking for it. But I do know that I have them in here. So I'm actually going to go in. I've got like three palettes open here, so I'm just... And this one doesn't seem as dark as the other one, so... I love how simple and elegant this pink is. Make it like a really nice um, work look. So I'm going to go in with the... I think I'm just going to take the colors from mostly this palette here. So I think this is Glisten. And then I'll go in with Glimmer. So I'm going to Glisten and Glimmer. The nice thing about this palette is you can actually use your fingers for a lot of it. This is just a very, very simple light shade. a lot lighter than I'm used to so um, their palettes are talic free and when you go with darker colors you do need the talic in it so I'm just gonna go in with the glimmer shade here Hmm. 
I just want to darken up those edges there. One thing I like about these palettes, and I'm not using them, but look how big the mirrors are. Like, that's huge. You can really see yourself in them. So I am going to take a clean brush, and I'm going to... Not that one. Oops, I'm going to go in with... Not that one. I'm fighting all my concealer brushes now that I've cleaned my brushes. So I'm actually going to go in with one of these like highlighter shades here. And I'm just going to put it right in the corner. It's very simple, very easy. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the rest of my face. Um, I've got the luminous, sorry, the, um, doll tan smooth assist, S smooth solution refining pour. And guys, if you go shopping on doll tan, you can use the link down below. You can go over to Instagram and I usually have a story going and it shows, um, what deal is going on over in doll ten world um and if you use my link uh you save like i think 15 percent you can use if you use my link you can use a different code to save up to 20 percent and then um i'll still get part credit for it so i am going to go in with the um this covers everything in oh, of course oh, nice brush here um this covers everything in fair light. Um, not only does it cover everything, it also has, it's also the luminous, well, set the luminous kind. Oh my gosh. I think I've never done this before. If I don't get it now, I probably won't get it at all. So, okay, so. This is the Luminous Foundation. This is the Luminous Brush. It has nice I mean. So it will nurture your skin while wearing it. So not only does it look good, it feels good. You don't need much. And you can build the coverage, which is really nice. It is full coverage. I posted a photo of me wearing this. I think this is in, yeah, this is in fair light. And everybody loved the photo. So as you can see, when I'm building up, I tap it in. Okay, and I don't tend to rub it. And then I will add my concealer on top. I love this foundation. It feels so natural. And I love the little bit of a glow that I get from it. I just got a piece of hair there. So now I gotta. And once it sets, it does not move. I find that uh, I can wear a mask. It does rub off a little bit, but not enough that I need to reapply anything. And as you can see. There we go. So I am going to, so I'm going to take the fluffier brush and then it's got the surgical grade. This is still going strong because I don't need a lot, right? Like I only need that and you can watch it just be melded into my skin. Very, very simple look, but I mean, you can still see that I got some pink on. You can still see that uh, it's glimmer and it's fancy, and I really like it. Okay, so I am going to go in. 
Uh, let's see if I can. Hey, can I find that brush? I wonder. There it is. So um, this does have a darker pink for in their palette. So again, I tap mine on. Because if I find that if I rub, like on this side, it's a little bit better. I can rub a bit, but uh, when I'm doing it on the birthmark, I don't want to rub the product off. But then you can see, see how much? So I do need a little bit more for that side just because it's harder to, to tell that I'm wearing it. But that's okay. So, did you guys do anything nice for Valentine's Day? I know it's today. We I celebrated last night, kind of with my fiance, and then and and Saturday night a little bit. Uh, we got some champagne, and we went over to his mom's, and we got in the hot tub, and it was great. We loved it. Um, I. Um, then I had some chocolate covered strawberries and then he got me this like touchery board and oh, yeah, just, it was great. Okay. So this is the Dalton bronzer. I haven't used this in a while cause usually I use the refocus palette, but I thought, you know what, I'm going to use it today. I like it a lot. And it's, you don't need a lot. That is for sure. And I might've put too much on, but we can fix that up. So for me, just sometimes what I do is I actually take the um, oh that was a foundation brush. <laughs> uh, I thought that was my um, <laughs> I just kind of put down my brushes and I don't pay attention to where I put them right. So so you can see this is a luminous. So it gives me a really nice, I think, healthy, sh you know, glow. So. And then I'm actually going to use... I'm going to go in actually with this brush here. So I do have several highlighters and I'm actually going to go in with the one from Doll 10 here. And I'm actually going to use my fingers because this is so soft. One thing I will say, this is a very subtle very very subtle highlighter which is what you want you know sometimes you want that right okay so now there is um i'm almost out of it so i'm gonna take this brush here i think this is oh this is fair i haven't done i know i haven't done the lipstick so we'll do that in a second but this is the setting powder that they have. As you can see, this is like my favorite, 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 favorite thing. I don't have to bake with this, which is really nice. I just kind of tap it in to where I need it. I know, 14 minutes in, and I've got almost my whole face done. I... Absolutely crazy, right? Like, I haven't done my lips, I haven't done my, eye, my eyelashes either. Or my eyebrows. So, uh, la, 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 la. so I kind of cheat. I don't tend to do these perfectly, but... I know somebody was saying that they loved my eye brows and I'm like, aw. 
it's not a compliment you get too often. So just making short little lines. So I do add a little bit down this way just because um, I've had my eyelashes burnt off there so they don't grow back anymore which really sucks but it's, you know, part of the process of having a birthmark, you know, the hair gets burnt off, I get my eyelashes burnt off. So, yeah, we just put them. So they do have a three dimensional powder that I will be trying to get. Um, and it is so nice. So I'm actually gonna go in with the Effort Lash. And there it is there. It's, this is a really nice one. So this one's got, um, I think, no, it just has one brush. Okay, I think it must be the other one. But you're going to see how easy this is. I usually don't do this with you guys, and I certainly don't talk. But I don't curl my lashes with this. I feel like I don't need to. I really feel like this makeup is just a natural enhancement of what I have. And I will be adding some eyeliner after this dries. I completely forgot about that. And a lot of their products aren't harsh. They're um, like clean skin, clean um, products. I apologize now, my cat may, my cat may join us. Oh, no, she left. She is out during the day, which does not happen very often. Especially when Sasha is right there. Um, okay, so. We have green, we have black. Okay, so I think this, oh, that's a lip genus. That should not be in there. Okay, so I've got a copper one I'm actually going to use. So these are self-sharpening, so when you put the lid down, it will self-sharpen. Normally I would do this beforehand, but I forgot. One thing I'll also say is if you watch, you don't need much pressure. There those two go. So I'm only going to put a little bit on the bottom just because I feel like the top is already enough done. Um, I am going to go in. With that, the shade that's on the back of my eye there and just. bring it down to kind of okay so now I actually pulled out the pink 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 lipstick because I was like I want pink lips today so we're going into uh twenty minutes And I'm going to
using my lip crayon. Okay, so there's the look. Um, sorry, guys. All right, so there's the look. So I did go in with the extra Everlast XL um, mascara. They do have a primer out now, which I would suggest you try because it will. Um... Sorry, guys. It will uh, lash in, uh, it will lash in, it will condition your lashes. It will give them that nutrients they need that to. Uh, grow um there it is beautiful it really does make a difference on your lashes holy moly i really 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 like this foundation this foundation is superb guys and i'm just gonna kind of pull that back and the um setting powder i'm, I'm gonna have to go and order a whole like tin of it because it's gorgeous okay so then I went in with the uh, 10 piece I, I got this 10 piece lip crayon and I got the purse with it but you can get like the 8 piece um now if you don't go through doll 10 you can go through tc uh, c here in Canada the shopping channel um they do often have deals so um I would definitely sign up for their emails because they'll let you know when they're having a showstopper for doll 10 and you can pick up some pretty nice stuff for cheap okay if you do go to doll10.com you can Use the code ROXANN15 to save 15%. Okay, so I have all of my palettes pulled out, but I actually used this one. Oh, that's what that sound was. Um, this is the Rose Brilliance. I'm sorry, it's really, really um, dirty, but uh, I do love the packaging. So I did use the refocusing powder from the Refocusing Glow and the Doll 10 Limited Edition Golden Pearl Body Bronzer. I actually used it for my face, which I think is fine, personally. It does give me a nice little glow, which I do like. Um, and then I used my TCE Primer and the Luminous Setting, or Luminous uh, Foundation, and then I used the Smooth Assist. Um, I did use the over archiever for the eyebrows and uh, all I need eye pencil and a copper. This isn't the one I used. This is the one I used. So those are all the products I did use today. Um, yeah. And I am ready in less than half an hour. How is that? Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Drop a comment below. Let me know. Do you have anything from Doll 10? Is there anything that you want me to get that you would like to see? I do have most of their palettes. Um, I am trying to, uh, uh, save up for some f few things and doing an order for them. Um, but yeah, and I think this is a great, cute little Valentine's Day look. Um, but yeah, anyway, guys, I hope you guys have a really great day. I Hope you have a really great Valentine's Day and um, I will, yeah. <laughs> guys, if you guys can please like the video, it does help out a lot. Give it a share and make sure you are subscribed because I do a lot of giveaways. Um, yes, and I think that's it guys. I will see you on the next video.